How are you guys doing? Joshua with Ohio Fish Rescue. Today we're on something like that show Dirty Jobs and let's show you what we're working with today. Alrighty, so looking at this pond, you can see it's already been being drained by a lot. Well, we came here yesterday, we prepped the pond so it can be drained down. This was, you know, an 80 foot pond all the way up to the bank here. This was drained down previously and then yesterday we drained it down to here and it's being pumped out as we speak. You can go ahead and see there's a two inch hose up there that is being pumped up past the hill and down and around. So now while that is being drained down, you can kind of see through the water. This is actually a very nicely done dug pond with a mud bottom. Well, there's, you know, rock and silt in the bottom, of course, but nothing like that last mud pond we were in. I'm hoping that this is going to be a much more pleasant experience. And uh, we've got the crew with, with us today. Of course, we've got my dad's friend Reaper, whom you've seen before on plenty of rescues. We've got his son Ken always coming in to help out and of course we've got G Gimpy over here. <laughs> so he, he came, he's actually going to be my cameraman today. So uh, he's just going to be filming the uh, experience and we'll, we'll be getting this good to go. Now you can see our setup just like last time brought the 1000 gallon tote with the 500 gallon tub here. We're going to go ahead and fill these up with water. This time however I brought a drag net, actually I brought two. And uh, we're gonna try and drag this pond to get most of the fish out. All right, so here we got Josh and Reaper doing the first drag of the pond, getting the net set. It's nice and slippery out there. We'll probably see a couple of the big koi's jump. Josh just clearing the debris. I don't want to get those sticks caught up in the drag net because they'll just scrape up on the fish. I am so lucky that there's rocks on the bottom of this pond. Now this pond is down about five feet and it's still over 60 foot wide. All right, Ken, can you run up to the car? Open the side door, there's some rubber nets there. We go ahead and uh, bring them down here. We're gonna trap them in like the side, and then we're gonna sit here and hold this scene, and then we're gonna catch them from inside. Now we just close the circle, then. There you go. So here we are, round two. Basically the first few drags are just gonna be uh, clearing the debris. We got Aaron over there now, removing some of the sticks for the second drag. All right, so here we are, getting this dragged again. I think we've got the skill perf per perfected a little bit. We got our anchor on this end. We're holding up the middle so the big koi can't jump over it this time. Oh yeah. Should we tighten up now? Yeah, go ahead and tighten up then. Good catch. There you go. Stay here and let him tighten up. Is that a log or a turtle? 
Snapper? Snapper. Snapper. Josh, here, no. Josh. Get the net. You went right in the middle. Hang on, man. I got the curve first. There he is. There he is. Josh, don't tear that net. Wow. Thank you, sir. He's a little smaller than the one we took to Chicago. I'll take him. Sorry, I just hit you with my other thing. That's why you wouldn't get in the water, eh? All that fish all this time. Nobody told me there was turtles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Josh, you're a monster. <laughs> you guys tear off the alligator, too. <laughs> that I'm okay with. He'll take off a limb. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are. Unlike the fifth drag, we finally got one of the big ones. Here's a couple of the smaller ones as well. Go ahead and dump them in there. It's okay. They all gotta go in there. Oh, I hear you. This beautiful koi. Okay, these guys just showed up. They've been, uh, well not just showed up, they've been draining the water out of there and we're pumping water from our 2000 through this hose up into there as they're draining water out and acclimating. What's that, buddy? We thought we were going to wait two weeks to break ground in this pond. It's probably going to happen next week. Right. <laughs> These are some big boys. It's coming out again, Reap. Oh. 
It's nice to have the driveway open where we can drive into the back now. Rough day, Josh? Yep. Twisted my knees. Got to foot right over. Look at the size difference. The ones that just came in and the ones we had in here. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. He's huge, damn beautiful. Look, this guy right here. That's him. These are almost shack sized koi. What do you say, 30 inches, 32 inches, Josh? Uh, yeah, on, on the larger ones, but look at the quality on these koi. Oh my God. My look God. At He's in love. <laughs> uh, you can't really. Oh my God! Look at how big them are. They're not. They're not 36 inches. They're about 32 inches. Look at that. Look at that guy. I love that one. Oh my God! That's regular toy. There's a huge butterfly right there. Look at all these big guys. Look at them things. Look at this one. There it is. Look at that one. Oh, and then all yellow on here. Amazing. All right, everyone. So we can see here we have hundreds, and I mean hundreds of goldfish. This is already after we gave away a bunch. Those tubs were, were full, so uh, once we get done rehoming all of these goldfish, there are some koi mixed in here as well. So for, for the people that were coming for goldfish, they were also getting free koi as well. Pretty much everything that was under 12 inches were basically uh, rehomed for free. So now we are basically just down to goldfish left. And uh, once I go ahead and rehome these, I am going to go ahead and split up a bunch of the koi out of the 2000 to give these guys a bit more room temporarily. So we're going to go ahead and phase out all the 12 inch ones that, that we're keeping and go ahead and move them over to here to give everyone more room. Hopefully by the end of today, all of these will be gone and these guys will have more room. I have been doing uh, two a day water changes on them. To be able to keep the water quality so uh have a little faith in us and uh we are actually coming up with the final design of the pond now we just talked to greg yesterday and uh we are moving forward fairly quickly with this so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video it was a little bit more of a uh, uh a long awaited you know video but this is what we had to do to get some of these massive massive koi out of that massive mud pond there are some beautiful koi in here oh my goodness there were a lot more than I, I expected but look at the colors on these guys just absolutely stunning and absolutely worth it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more crazy adventures with the Ohio fish rescue be sure to hit that subscribe button and as always Stay fishy, my friend.